Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than it at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those who have chosen to make a new, to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> from Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia, but John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath day they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After reading of the Law and the Prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people of Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm he led them out. And for about forty years he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about four hundred and fifty years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for forty years. Then he removed him and raised him up as David, their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by pro proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am he, not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall, be, shall his horn be exalted. He shall save me. You are, my, you are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome back to church. Thank you. Uh, it's a little dim in the sanctuary because we're doing some uh, construction in the basement and some of the power is shut off in the building, but it's better than somebody getting electrocuted, I suppose. Anyways, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got an email with a question about the significance of vestment colors, and I, I didn't answer it because I thought it would make good for a good uh, weekday homily, sort of an educational one. And so I'll start with the most common and work my way through them to the least common. The, the most common color that you'll see at church, the priest wearing, is green. And green uh, represents life. It's the most uh, common one because it's worn during ordinary time, which is uh, almost half the entire church year. And the ordinary time is the number of weeks between Christmas and Lent and between Easter and Advent. And then the next most common one is the one I'm wearing now, white, which is worn during the Easter and Christmas season, and it's also worn on the feast days of saints who were not evangelists, uh, specifically not the four gospel writers, and were not martyred for their faith. It's also worn for weddings and funerals. And then you have violet, which is the third most common color, and that's, of course, during Lent and Advent, leading up to Christmas and Easter, uh, it's optional for funerals, and also it's worn on specific days of repentance. Uh, for example, the, uh, a landmark anniversary of something like Roe versus Wade, or the death of a pope, or something like that. And then, uh, and then there's red, which is worn on the feast days of martyrs, people who gave their lives for the faith, and feast days of evangelists, which is another term used for the four gospel writers. It's also worn on masses for the Holy Spirit, it represents the fire of the Holy Spirit, and specifically worn especially on, on Pentecost Sunday. And then there's sort of a tie for the two least commonly worn uh, colors at mass. There's black, which is an option for funerals, uh, and it's also worn on All Souls Day, uh, November 2nd. And then finally, rose, which is only worn on two days of the entire year. Uh, the third Sunday of Advent, uh, uh, Gaudete Sunday, and the fourth Sunday of Easter, Leitare Sunday, and it represents joy, sort of the color of the rising sun, something to look forward to. So uh, I bring this up because symbolism is important for us. Uh, symbolism that we see all over inside of the Catholic Church can teach people about the faith without even having to read a book or, or really even be taught about it. It simply needs to be explained maybe once or twice and then we can learn. And uh, it's a, a great way of immersing ourselves in the thousands of years of history of our faith. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless us, God, Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of the Holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcometh paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed into willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and James our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Good 
for the kingdom and the power and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament. Pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.